Hi, welcome to Physics with Ben. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share this video to those that need it. In today's video, I want to teach us how to find the density of water. In finding the density of water, we use the same approach we used in finding the density of an irregular object. I did a video on how to find the density of an irregular object and this was a stone I used in that video. Kindly click in the description box below to find the link to that video. Watch it and share it to other viewers. Thank you. So first things first, uh, this is the information I have on Google. Universally, the density of water in gram per cm cube is one, approximately one gram per cm cube. And in kilogram per cm cube, we have 997 kilogram per cm cube. So let us verify in this experiment if we can get an approximate value or an exact value of this. Stay tuned and watch till the very end. First things first, the equation for the experiment. The equation for the density is given as rho is equal to mass all over volume. Call this equation number one. So we are going to customize this equation. We are use, finding the density of water. So write rho w is equal to mass of water all over volume of water. We call this equation number two. It is equation number two that we are going to use. But before we find the density of water, we need to find the mass of water. We need to find also the volume of water. How can we find the mass of water? I will school you through and teach you how to go about it. To find the volume of water is very, very simple. We are just going to pour the water in this content. Wherever it reach, that is the volume of water. We are going to use arbitrary volumes of water. Any volume of water you use is fine. We may choose to use 200, 300, 400, or 500, or 250, 350 cm3. So I'm going to choose an arbitrary figure here. So first things first, we want to find the mass of water. It is practically impossible for you to carry this water content and spill it on the weighing balance for you to find the mass. That will not work. So we have to use the container, a container called the measuring cylinder, to help us find the mass of water. What do we do? We are going to find the empty weight. That is, the empty weight of this measuring cylinder. This cylinder is having no water here. So we are going to place this on the weighing balance and find the empty weight of the measuring cylinder. Yes, I'm going to take the camera close so that we'll see what is there. Okay, you can see from here. That is 392 gram. I will take it very close. Good. 392.0 gram. So we are going to denote that by writing M1. Okay, let's, yeah, let's write uh, M1. M1, that is mass. We are using M1 as a parameter to represent mass of the empty cylinder placed on, this, on the weighing balance here. So we write our M1 to be 392 grams. Next up, we are going to pour uh, water in this and weigh it back here. That is fine. Good. So as you can see from the reading, this time we have our M2. Our M2 is the mass of the measuring cylinder with water content. So we write that our M2 is equal to 653 gram. At this point, 
we are going to write that the mass of the water mw is equal to m2 minus m1 if you do that correctly you have 6 5 3 minus 3 9 2 And so the mass of the water we're using here is 261, 61 gram. Good. So at this point, we are going to take our camera close. We are done with the weighing balance. Now we can take this off this now. We are done with this guy now. Push it aside. At this point, we are going to take the camera close to see the volume of the water. And that is the volume of the water. So if you can see here very well that the volume of the water uh, at the eye level, this is a uh, this is two hundred and two hundred and twenty and fifty, two hundred and sixty, two hundred and seventy is at two hundred and seventy. Yeah, look at that again. I told you one calib uh, one each of the calibration is 10, 10 cm cube. So you have 250, 260, and 270. Good. So we have gotten all the parameters. We have gotten MW, where we have gotten our VW. Our MW is this, our VW is, is 270. Our VW is a 270 cm cube. So we can now apply equation number two to find the density of water. Do that correctly. We write that uh, the density of water is equal to mass of water divided by volume of water, and mass of water is 261 gram divided by volume 270 cm cube if you do that correctly we have 261 divided by 270 that will give us uh, 0.9666 like a recurring decimal to four to, uh, to, to five decimal places 0 0.9667 so the density of water approximately is one gram per cm cube. This is the universal density of water. Good. So go and check on the internet, on Google, the density of water. And if you get exactly this particular value here, Come back to this video and give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumb up like this. And then help me click the subscribe button. Share this video to those that need it. Also, you can join my physics um, membership team where I can be coaching you guys online and doing home, some home lessons for you guys and some home assignment for you guys. Don't forget to check the description box below to see if the video link that explains uh, determining the density of an irregular object using the um, displacement method. So from the beginning of the video, this was what I showed us. And uh, I, at the end of the video, we got this particular value. So it means that our experiment was very, very perfect. Thank you and God bless you. I want to use this medium to to speak to our wire candidates. I have done a lot of videos for us on Physics with Ben channel. Go through the videos. The videos are sufficient enough to give you an A in physics. I have done almost all experimental videos in all the four main branches of physics uh, where experiments always come from. Uh, optics, mechanics, thermodynamics, and electricity. I have video, uh, experimental video in, in all of these fields and also theoretical videos that are capable of giving you an A in physics. Thank you and God bless you. Bye-bye.